There's a very special group of carolers in a small York County town that's been bringing so many words of good cheer from everywhere for a while. They've been filling the air since the 1840s. That's a long time. Not the same people, but you know. <laughs> yes. Ed Russo has more on this week's Proudly Pennsylvanian. It's been a well-kept secret for the last 174 years. It all started approximately right this spot with these five men. These five men, back in 1848, began a tradition that continues to this day in Glenrock. A tradition of caroling through the night on Christmas Eve. They haven't missed a beat for 174 years. The Civil War didn't stop them, both World Wars didn't stop them, the 1918 pandemic didn't stop them, and the ongoing coronavirus pandemic hasn't stopped them. The carols are mostly Old English. You're not going to hear Dominic the Donkey. At the stroke of midnight on Christmas Eve, the carolers meet here at this square the only signal light in Glenrock. This is where they begin to sing with joyful tone to every home. The number of people who watch the spectacle in the thousands. This town comes alive once every year for the six to seven hours from midnight Christmas Eve until the sun comes up Christmas morning. This is a different place than it is now. In those six to seven hours, they sing with joyful ring, too young and old, meek and the bold. Their path six to seven miles in length, basically half of a half marathon. Bring forth in songs, bring forth in songs to Christmas morning, the carolers end here at the monument of the five original carolers. Daryl Angler, who's been caroling for over 50 years, is the musical director of the Glenrock Carolers. He says weather conditions are important for the best sound. When it is totally still, cold and still, you can hear the carolers from the one hill to the other hill throughout the night. The weather outside may be frightful, but the caroling always delightful. Our favorite stories are the children who grew up in this town from before their first birthday. If it's Christmas time, parents will come out on the porch or hold the little baby up at the window and then the one-year-old and then the two-year-old and the three-year-old and that's all they know. That's what Christmas is. Perhaps it is the tale of this tradition passed down to younger generations that is the most important carol of them all in O Little Town of Glenrock. For Proudly Pennsylvanian, Ed Russo, CBS 21 News.